Proverbs chapter 22 A good name is more desirable than great riches, and loving favor is better than silver and gold. The rich and poor have this in common. Yahweh is the maker of them all. A prudent man sees danger and hides himself, but the simple pass on and suffer for it. The result of humility and the fear of Yahweh is wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the wicked. Whoever guards his soul stays from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich rule over the poor. The borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he shares his food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and strife will go out. Yes, quarrels and insults will stop. He who loves purity of heart and speaks gracefully is the king's friend. The eyes of Yahweh watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I will be killed in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is under Yahweh's wrath will fall into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline drives it far from him. Whoever oppresses the poor for his own increase, and whoever gives to the rich, both come to poverty. Turn your ear and listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my teaching, for it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you, if all of them are ready on your lips, that your trust may be in Yahweh. I teach you today, even you. Haven't I written to you thirty excellent things of counsel and knowledge, to teach you truth, reliable words, to give sound answers to the ones who sent you? Don't exploit the poor because he is poor, and don't crush the needy in court, for Yahweh will plead their cause and plunder the life of those who plunder them. Don't befriend a hot-tempered man, and don't associate with one who harbors anger, lest you learn his ways and ensnare your soul. Don't you be one of those who strike hands, of those who are collateral for debts. If you don't have means to pay, why should he take away your bed from under you? Don't move the ancient boundary stone which your fathers have set up. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will serve kings. He won't serve obscure men.